Hi there, it's Nicole for the Lawn Fawn May 2014 Inspiration Week. And today I'm showcasing the brand new stamp set with coordinating dies called Love You S'more. It has a darling name and it's this really cute little camping, like campfire stamp set with bears and other little woodland creatures and great elements for creating a campfire and backgrounds with the trees and things and I wanted to create a little campfire scene with the critters and I even implemented one of the little critters from the another new Lawn Fawn stamp set called Hello Baby. Um, I used a little bunny from it to kind of sit around my campfire in the finished card. I am stamping all of my elements that I'm going to be coloring in with colored pencils on some smooth white cardstock. And I also tried out a couple of different brown inks there for the little logs on the campfire, trying to find the one I liked better. I ended up going with the darker ink, which just looked better to my eye. Now I have another piece of paper here. This is actually watercolor paper from Tim Holtz. And the reason I'm using watercolor paper is because I want to create a background for my campfire by, I stamped and embossed this Starry Backdrops stamp from Lawn Fawn. I'm using some white embossing powder. When I heat set this now, I want to have the Starry Background resist the ink that I'm going to be using for the background of my card. I'm using some chipped sapphire and peacock feathers, which is one of my most favorite combinations for creating a night sky. And then I'm using a little, I think squeezed lemonade and spiced marmalade, I believe, or maybe wild honey distressings. The exact colors I'm using will be listed in the supply list, both on my blog and underneath the video here on YouTube. Anyway, and I spritz those with some water in a mini mister. And I want to get them really wet so that I am just pressing my stamped and embossed paper into that ink. Now I can do this as many times as I need to. You can see I kind of would work with it and see what I liked. Once I had it how I wanted, I went ahead and sat that aside to dry naturally without heating it or anything while I colored in my images. So that I took, a, I stamped my images and realized because I wanted to do that with my background, it would probably be a good idea to set it aside so it could dry while I was working on everything else. Now I'm coloring in all of my images with some Prismacolor colored pencils. This is. I like Prismacolor. I also like the brand new Spectrum Noir colored pencils. I hadn't had those yet when I did this card, so I didn't use those on this one, but I, I use both of them. I love them both. With both, I do the same thing. I like to blend out all my colors using some Gamsol. So this video isn't really about the coloring. I do have a coloring video coming up soon using Lawn Fawn stamps and uh, Gamsol and just our colored pencils and Gamsol so that you can see a different option maybe other than Copics or other types of markers for coloring in your Lawn Fawn images. Once I have everything colored, I am going to simply take the coordinating dies, lay them over those images, hold them in place with some post-it tape, and then run them through my machine. I've mentioned it before, but I think it, it won't hurt to say it again. I like to hold my dies like this in place with post-it tape so that they don't shift when I run them through my Big Shot. I'm always afraid you take all that time and spend all the effort in coloring in your images and then the die will shift and ruin what you've worked so hard to create. So I just like that extra security of holding them in place with the post-it tape. Now I did die cut a couple of borders using the Mama Elephant Landscape Trio dies. They just, it's the perfect landscape trio of dies. It really is. And so it, it works wonderfully for creating landscape type scenes. And I love the combination of the dark brown and green 
borders here so it kind of looks like mountains and then a little grassy area where the critters are sitting and I'm using a little zig glue pin and the quick stick tool which is a little sticky on the end so it will hold on to your little pieces and you don't have to get your fingers like right in the way it works wonderfully when working with things like like these small little stamped die cuts or sequins or gemstones just little things that are kind of hard to hold on to with your fingers without making a mess I find that I get a lot less glue all over the place when I'm using this quick stick tool. I'm going to secure my little logs for my fire and the little fire that I have colored in. And I do apologize. The video is, a, I think I zoomed in a little too close, so it's not as crisp as I would like it to be. So I apologize about that. Don't know what was going on here. And I decided because I wanted to put a couple of the little critters over there to the left of the fire that I needed to move it up, move it over just a little and that will work much better. So I want my bear to be holding on to the little stick that with the marshmallow to be roasting it. So I'm going to cut a little slit between his front two legs to tuck that into. Once I have all of the elements secured to my card base, I'm going to go back in with the Sakura white and black gel pens and add some dot detail. I use the black on the critter's noses and eyes and then the white to create some little dots on the bear and on the squirrel's cheeks and on the bunny's cheeks as well. I took a Marvy pin that is a foam pin for the bunny tail and when you heat set it it poofs up like liquid applique does it makes a great detail for like i said little bunnies tails or if you're using making snow or things like that on a card i'm going to stamp the sentiment with versamark ink and heat emboss that with both red and white embossing powders to really make it pop against the bottom dark green cardstock of the card the last thing I'm going to do is go with the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Pen and add a little sparkle to my fire. Secure that to my white card base and my card is ready to be sent to someone special. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the brand new Lawn Fawn Love You S'more stamp set and dies. The products I've used are linked below the video on YouTube. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and we will catch you next time.